riding the rails at the Heston Steam Museum on this week's Jump in the Lake. Ted Rita is the general manager of the Heston Steam Museum here in Laporte, and this place has been around for a while, hasn't it? About 56 years now. Wow. Uh, we had our 50th anniversary in uh, 06, and uh, it's just grown so so much in the last 10 years, especially. Um, we're very proud of this museum. It is a very um, we don't have any glass cases. Everything you see is out. Um, uh, on display and everything operates. That's the unique thing about this place. The place was founded in 1956 by John Idris of uh, Michigan City, Indiana, when he bought a steam traction engine and brought it out here. And it's grown to include trains and all types of steam equipment. But really our mission is is all the same. It's, it's to create the most exciting um, uh, learning experience in the area. And I think that's what we've done. This was built in 1938, and it shows that they, that even in 1938, they used steam for all types of things. This was built for Kitty Land Amusement Park in Melrose, Illinois, okay. Melrose Park, Illinois, and we um, restored it here uh, from uh, 1987. And, now, was uh, this a donation as well? <laughs> this was a donation from our president of the organization. He went there, bought the locomotive, and brought it here, and he restored it, put a brand new boiler on it. But this is, what's really cool is that it's historic. This is not a recreation. This is what they built in 1938 to haul families around an amusement park, and it's still in operation today. Yeah, we're hauling families around That's the right. Stadium. That's right, so he's gonna go right now. You say it all operates and from what I understand that takes a great deal of manpower and it's not just you this place is oh, run absolutely. by volunteers and I can only imagine the type of um, commitment it takes and effort it takes to keep these old machines running yeah I mean we can't buy parts so we have a full machine shop here we've got people that know how to uh, machine parts for them uh, we work all winter long we're not just out here in the summer we can't just close the gate and come back right. and is everything okay um, so we have dedicated a team of shop personnel that come out and all volunteer that maintain, restore um, this equipment, which is very labor intensive. That's why they don't run it anymore. Well, show me some more of this equipment. <laughs> sure, let's Take go. me for a walk. Let's go. This is an amazing piece of equipment. What is it this? Is. This is really our flagship exhibit. It is a 1929 Shea locomotive. Why is it called the Shea? The Shea type locomotive was uh, designed and built by a man in Harbor Springs, Michigan. That was a logger. Um, he uh, was tired of his horses being overrun by his log buggy, so he built a locomotive similar to this, patented all these devices that you see here. This is the steam engine, and then you have a universal joint here, and a slip coupling here. All that was patented back in the 1890s by Ephraim Shea. And how, how is that different from a regular steam locomotive? Well, if you notice, um, the side rods go vertical here as opposed to the oh, horizontal the, okay. rods that typically you see on a locomotive. This is a very special locomotive uh, that was really made for logging and mining operations. Um, this one is absolutely brand new. Our shop crews have taken it down right to the frame. So it's a frame off restoration, new main bearings, new spring rigging, and, and most importantly, a brand new boiler. This boiler costs us $80,000. Oh my gosh. Um, it has to be done by a code shop. So that's why it costs so much. 
He is, he's one of the guys in charge of the restoration. Steve Brown is working on uh, the boiler right now. Hi, drilling. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's hot, dirty. It's not glamorous work. What's glamorous is when he's up in the Shaylook mode, looking down at the kids, waving at him. So the kids don't come in here and watch this, but they will watch him go by in the shade. Steve, is this your baby? I will be. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this locomotive is in the state of teardown. So this one's very similar to the, to the um, little porter here, but this one is again the size, so it's scaled up. So as you can see, we've got, um, if you look down in here, you can see we've got our main bearings out. Um, the wheels are ready to be pulled. These will actually be chucked in a lathe and trued. Um, so this is huge work. We don't actually have a lathe that big, but we have a full machine shop. Um, uh, we, we do send out some parts and it costs a lot of money unless we have friends to support us. So we have a lot of um, support and materials and skill outside of the museum. Uh, companies actually help us out a little bit on, on some of that type of thing that we can't do internally. Ted, we've been looking at some really big equipment, but this this is very small. It really small. is, isn't what it? What is this? So what this is is a live steam locomotive. These, some of these guys build these things from scratch, and it works just like the full-size counterpart. You have to have shovel the coal into the fire. That burns. With a very small with shovel. With a small <laughs> shovel, and that burns, creates steam with the water that surrounds the fire, and that's fed into the cylinders. It's just like the full-size one. Look and, at these rails. They're I mean, only seven and a half inches apart. I can almost, I can, I can touch them. You can. So this train goes over a mile railroad that we have that goes through the woods, and it doesn't matter really how big of a kid you are, it's a great ride. Uh, yeah, and clearly it's, it, might, it might be short in stature, but it's big on fun. you got a whole row of passengers It is, and there. it really illustrates the power that steam has to move this whole train with this small engine. We've gotten to see some really cool steam engines. We've gotten to ride the rails and we even got to go inside a vintage soda fountain. We've had so much fun at the Heston Steam Museum in LaPorte. We hope to see you next time on Jump in the Lake. So this is the Jump in the Lake crew. And this is the lake. If you know about any fun or unique activities in and around the Lakeshore region, drop us a line. You can reach us at jumpinthelake at lakeshorepublicmedia.org.